Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to another video for today. Yes, I'm doing two videos in one day, also from the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to go ahead and divide up uh, what I did in my previous Dollar Tree haul earlier and show this one because this one's more geared toward stocking stuffers or for kids or kids presents and ideas for presents. So I have some things that I picked up and then after I show this, I'm gonna show, I did a little like shop with me of the stocking stuffer area so you can see what um, the Dollar Tree has, at least at my Dollar Tree for stocking stuffer ideas. So let's get into it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love these kinds of videos and love the Dollar Tree like I do. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe before you leave. Let's get into it. First thing, not a stocking stuffer because this definitely won't fit in a stocking, but I did pick up a hula hoop for my daughter. This is the perfect size because it's a, a kid's size. My daughter had mentioned that she wanted a hula hoop. I know we had one at one point, but I have no idea what happened to it. They have them in different colors, so I got her the one that had the pink, the purple, and the white. I know she'll be excited to use this. So this is definitely, I think kids always love a hula hoop, and for a dollar, you can always throw it in there for a kid's present. In the Dollar Tree's stocking stuffer area, they had, actually maybe this wasn't in the stocking stuffer area, maybe this was in the toy section. I can't remember, but either in the toy section or they had a stocking stuffer area towards the front, I found these kitchen play sets. My daughter's really into playing restaurant right now. Her restaurant is called Lenny's. Her name is Lennon, and she named her restaurant Lenny's. It's the cutest thing. She has a menu, the whole shebang. She comes out, takes your order, goes and prepares food. And so I thought she would get a kick out of these. So this one has, they had a couple different sets. This one has like fries, a little cola bottle, some like chicken, hot dogs, stuff like that. So a decent amount of stuff for one dollar and then this one has a few other things this one has more fruit it looks like a banana maybe tomato strawberry grape lemon great for kids that like to play kitchen or restaurant or anything like that perfect to go along with the whole restaurant or play kitchen kind of thing dollar tree has these kitchen sets that are perfect. I mean, they're little, but they're perfect for any kid that likes to do the, um, you know, play, house, kitchen, restaurant, whatever. And these have the pink, but they also have ones that don't have pink in there if you want to get it for someone that doesn't like pink or a boy that doesn't like pink. But this one has this in there and I thought it was a good little mixture of things. And then this one is a little bit different and it has these items in there. So such a great steal, such a great steal, such a great find for a dollar each, yes. When my daughter likes to make our food for her restaurant to bring out to us, she makes it out of Play-Doh. So she needed some more Play-Doh. She did mention that she wanted some more Play-Doh and Dollar Tree has play-doh they have the name brand one that you'll see in the little shop with me um but they also have but the name brand you can only get one for a dollar but then they have this off brand that just says dough modeling it says dough and then it says modeling dough and it's a four pack and this one they have a few different versions of it this one is the brights so it has orange what is that red yellow blue and purple then they had this pack that says neon and it has a neon pink yellow orange and green and then they had this one that has the pastel colors and this is like a, a purpley pink like a teal a yellow and a white so if you need to buy some things for some kids or put some stuff in some stockings. You could always open these up and use them individually if you have lots of kids that you have to give stuff to, or you can just you know wrap it and use it as an actual present. There's so many things you could do with it um, to give it to a kid. I guess you could give it to an adult if they really like playing with Play-Doh, but definitely awesome for kids. I just noticed that this had gotten thrown in another bag, but it's another one of these kitchen um, little, what? that uh, these are vegetables but the little play items that looks like this is corn and carrots a tomato no not a tomato a pepper a pumpkin 
I don't even know what those are, but just another cute little pretend food that is great for any kid that loves to play, you know, the restaurant, food, whatever, kitchen, home, house, whatever. Great little gift. They have their gumball machines back. This is a great buy. My daughter loves her gumball machine. We got it over the summer, I think, or in the spring, um, and we got her a pink one. And I actually got this pink one to give to one of her friends that had said that she wanted one. I actually found out that she had already gotten one, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet, but they have them in blue, yellow, I think, maybe red, and pink. Um, but they do work, you, and Dollar Tree sells gumballs as well, and you twist it and the gumball comes out. We haven't had any problem with it, so if you have a little kid that you think would might enjoy this, or you could give this as an adult gift, and if you wanted, you could spray paint this and make it a little bit more classy. And if you have someone like that, a, a, maybe an, even an office gift, you could fill it up with like more adult candy and spray paint it gold or something and give it to a coworker for their, op for their desk. That would be cute. So, good idea. I think a good idea, at least. I showed in the haul before this a bunch of the bath bombs that... I think are a also great gift to give to anyone that loves baths. Kids like baths too, so you can give them in kids little stockings or anything like that. But this one is a unicorn. Look at this. What? A unicorn shaped one and it wasn't broken. I was like, yes. So this is going to go in my daughter's stocking. Um, I'll throw it in there if Santa hasn't filled it up all the way. Uh, but I mean, it's so, it's, and it's a vanilla sprinkle scent. So I just love it. And they only had one unicorn, or else I would have gotten like as many unicorns as they had. This is kind of random, but it is a really cute little pencil case. But you don't have to use it as a pencil case. Um, my, my daughter actually said that she wanted one of these to hold her remotes in for like her Roku and her TV. And I like the size of it because I'm pretty sure her Roku and TV remote will fit in there perfectly. But you could also give this as a gift to a teacher and put some little things in there for them and put a little bow on it or something like that. But they had this in a bunch of other colors too. So I liked the size of this one. It's not too big, not too small. It got a little, it has a little height to it. I thought it was really cute. Nowadays, kids love slime. I know it was a craze to like make your own slime for a while. I don't really know if that still is a craze, but when I saw this, I figured for a dollar, I'll go ahead and grab it. It says, um, create cool slime, stretch it, and it's one kit. I think they had it in other colors as well. I can't be sure though. Definitely a little great thing for a stocking stuffer for a kid or an adult that likes to play with slime because I've seen adults like making their own slime and loving it, so you know. Or even if you still have an office party to go to or something or a white elephant, you could throw a little slime thing in there and that'd be cute, funny, cute, you know. I also picked up this pen, the words of encouragement. I think I showed this in my last shop with me. I saw some different ones. Um, they have like a fortune teller one. Um, this one and a couple others and I just love this one because it has all these positive sayings on them and my husband and I really try and live a positive lifestyle and embrace the positive thinking and pass that on to our daughter so I thought that this was really good for her to be able to have it one of the things says chase your dreams follow your heart think positive be positive you got this do what makes you happy and believe in yourself so this, I think, is a great stocking stuffer or gift that you can add, well, add into a gift, even for a teacher, um, someone that loves to craft or do like doodle or anything like that. I just think this is really cute and I should have gotten more of them. Along that kind of line, I saw these. These are Color Sense Medium Tip Scented Felt Tip Pens. I thought my daughter would like these because they are scented. I don't know how well the scent is in them, but again, this is another great gift if you are giving to someone that loves to do coloring or or anything like that. I have planned on doing gift guides 
and I just ran out of time and there's so many other people that have gift guides especially Dollar Tree gift guides that kind of already touch on all that stuff so this year I didn't really get to do any gift guides it'll be my goal to get on it sooner next year but this you can throw into a gift for a teacher, a friend, like I said, that likes to plan or color or anything like that, or kids that just like to doodle around and stuff. So I think they are cute though, regardless if they smell great or not, they're still, I like the little pattern on them. All right, we're wrapping up what I actually picked up. Dollar Tree has a whole, uh, I was gonna say lane, has a whole aisle of candy and things like that that you can put in stockings or add to gifts. I just picked up a couple things for now. I'll probably need to go back, um, but I got these to throw into some gifts or some stockings. I just got this Hershey's Snowman. It's just a little Hershey's bar, and it's the milk chocolate. A lot of times they have the crisp in my, I don't like the crisp. I don't know, I mean, do you like the crisp? I feel like I don't know anyone that really likes the crisp. I'd be curious, leave down in the comments below if you like the crisp or you like to stick with milk chocolate. But these are the milk chocolate and that's what my daughter likes, so I got that for her. Then I found these lollipop rings. Look at how adorable these are. I don't know if they actually taste good or not, but even just for decoration, maybe to tie on a present as like a little topper or throw in a stocking, I think they're so adorable. And then the last thing that I picked up are these decorated lollipops. They have Santas and snowmen. Again, another thing that's great to throw in a stocking or add as a topper on top of a present. I just think that they're so cute regardless. Like, I, I don't really like to eat things like this that are just purely artificially flavored, but for a dollar, even just for decor, it's super cute. So I am grateful that the Dollar Tree does carry this stuff. That is it for everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for stocking stuff. I may still need to go back and get a few things, but um, I am happy with this stuff. And like I said, I'm going to start inserting the clips right now of all of the other things that I saw that were stocking related. I don't think I went down the candy aisle I so should have and I apologize that I didn't do that um, but I'm pretty sure um, there's got to be other videos out there where people did that I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would love for you to subscribe also I'll be doing a home decor Christmas tour of my house this week um, I <laughs> I try so hard I swear I always have the best intentions of getting everything decorated. I have a problem with decorating. Like, I cannot finish. I cannot tell myself it's done. I keep adding and I just, I have to get better with it. That is a goal for next year is to get better and call it a quits and get it done um, in a much more timely manner. But I just love decorating so much and I always think of new things. So, um, but I am like, so like 95% done. <laughs> I still have to decorate my Christmas trees though. I am one of those people that once my tree is up and the lights are on, I'm like, it looks so pretty, just like how it is, like without even any ornaments on there. I mean, I know it always looks better once you get the ornaments on and all that stuff, but I just, I enjoy looking at it just lit up. I think it's pretty. So uh, I still have to put ornaments on my Christmas tree. So that's happening. But regardless, the home decor Christmas tour will be coming this week. I promise. And I hope you guys enjoy it because I have worked really hard on my house. I love home decor and I love decorating for the holidays. So it is, um, it, it is a video that I love to do. I just set my standards too high for myself, but I am excited to share it because I think it turned out really, this is one of my best years yet, if not my best year yet. So I'm really happy with how everything has turned out. So thank you guys again so much for watching and stay tuned if you want to see the rest of the stuff. It's Shop With Me style and I'll see you later. Bye. This whole no, like, set for stocking stuffers. Oh, yeah,
And I found some good ones, I think. These seem like these would be really great little stocking stuffers or even just little presents for any kid that likes to do Legos. Looks like there's some that are more girly. And then um, for boys, I think that any of these could really work for either one. And then they have some definite more kind of boyish ones. They have these little Rubik's cubes. And of course, little stuffed animals. And little, um, what are these called? Like, you know, little figurine, not figurines, but little animals. Of course, we have this head apparently. We have some yo yo's down there. I probably wouldn't get a yo yo if you wanted to last, but I don't know. These might work okay. We also have these in a bunch of different colors. What I thought was a great find are these Play Dohs. They're not the actual name brand one, but it comes in a four pack. And they have um, the pastel neon, and then over here they have a bright one too. They have these drawing cards. This two pack of cars, so the bigger cars. Disney themed jump ropes. The science kits are on the crystal tree. Grow on the crystals. Make your own snow. Little balls. Light up glow sticks for pieces. Kids that love stickers, they have Disney Princess stickers, the Cars theme stickers, and they have the Minnie and Daisy and those kinds of stickers. So these are great. They're on a stocking for a kid that loves stickers. Most kids do. These monster truck of cars. I would not say to get this. <laughs> My daughter got one and it broke like within a minute. So I say we can have more than that. And we're taking these. These mermaid bags, they always have these, but they brought them up front. They have these cooking accessories. This is a pretty great find. And these little play packs come with some stickers and crayons. Some puzzles. And a three pack of bubbles. Kids love bubbles. Goofy string. Kids always love some goofy string. My daughter, especially. Then they have that regular name brand Play-Doh, but you can get one of these, or if you don't need it to be name brand, you can get the other one that was four for a dollar. There's some more of these Lego Lego blocks, different puzzles, gumball machines. My daughter loves her gumball machine. They work perfectly, so these are a great find. Little table tennis balls. Some cones, basketballs, silly putty, cowboy, play set, paint your own bake. We have a dino one, car, a hippo, a plane. The 
This is a glow ball. Lasts for hours. Hmm. I've never seen that before. <laughs> More Barbie dolls. More glow. Oh, this is a glow football. And some more little puzzles. They have a Lena. Have a pig. Some really cute Disney washi. In the toy area, they have these Moana Finish the Scenes stickers and Despicable Me. These are also great for a little gift or stocking stuffer. Peppa Pig Pop Out Grab Bag. They have Strawberry Shortcake, little play pack. The caterpillar, the very hungry caterpillar, Littlest Pet Shop, so many other we have for the boys. Transformers, create a sticker scene. They have a princess one. Astronaut one. Monsters. <laughs> Over a thousand pieces of space stickers. What is this one? Outdoor stuff. Wow. This kitchen place that they have with the strainer, which is so cute. And they have in pink. Of a couple different kinds. I think those little, oh my gosh. And they also have these utensils. There's eight in them. A couple different kinds. It looks like. Maybe it's all the same. I can't tell. I think it might actually not be the same. Well, just different colors. They have play money. A little drawer looking thing. More dolls and plush animals. Dollhouse furniture that you can customize if you wanted to. Tears. Dress up. They have the foam swords, swords, and then plastic ones as well. And then, some finger shooters. I don't know how well those work, but that's interesting. Wing caps. Police. Ninja. I mean, they have a little something for any kid, whatever they like. It's crazy. Oh, even army helmets. Fishing fun, mm -hmm. fishing pole. I'm sure that probably doesn't work that great, but it's cute. Or military stuff. Grow capsules. And 
vehicles, dinosaurs. so much stuff for the more artsy crafty child which is my child for sure oh my gosh these are so cute string art sun catchers quite a few different kinds of bills Paper airplanes. Don't let the marbles fall. Little games. Don't let them fall. Two bean frogs. 